This video will be a quick guide to creating motion blur trail for your text, your shapes, your objects and such. My name is George, welcome to Smart Timber Graphics. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Without further talking though, let's jump to the tutorial. Let's create a new composition. I'm gonna name it Render, as I always do. Click OK. Then let's grab the Type tool and type whatever you like. I'm gonna type Slide because we're gonna make the text slide. Grab the text and place it, say, to this corner. Press P for position and create a keyframe by pressing the stopwatch. Then go to two seconds and drag your text across like that. Then find these little handles right here and drag them up to, to the top. Then find the other one here and also drag it to the top. So kind of create this curve. If we preview this, you'll see that the text will go up and they go down. Select the keyframes and press F9 to easily ease the keyframes. Make the animation a bit smoother. Then select the text on your timeline, and press Ctrl D to duplicate it and bring it under the first one. Go to colors and set it to a different color. You're free to choose any color that you like. I'm going to choose orange because why not? Then go to effects and presets, search for echo. It'll be under time. So add echo to the slide number two. And here we need to play around with the parameters. So say echo time, set it to 0 0.008 and set number of copies to say 40. Set decay to 0 0.8, just like that. And if we preview this, you can see that we are getting a trail, but it's not necessarily smooth. You can see the rough edges that we don't really want. So let's get rid of those by adding Gaussian blur. Search for the effect Gaussian Blur and add it to the slide number 2. Click on Repeat Edge Pixels. Go and increase the blurriness until you like it. So something like 16% looks fine. As you can see, it makes it really smooth. So, before and after. Next, let's select the slide number 2 and duplicate it by pressing again, Control D. And bring it under the, uh, the second one. So you kind of have this staircase. Select the slide number three and set a different color for it, say uh, purple. And change the decay. I would say like increase the decay, so say 0.86, like that. And you can see now our trail is a bit longer, we have writing colors. And let's try previewing this. And it gets quite heavy when you, when you get to this point, so you might want to lower the resolution a bit. That's essentially what you have, a nice motion trail. And of course, you are free to choose any color that you like, any mixture of colors. You can add another copy, say bring it down and select the four and choose a different color for it. So let's go with green. And again, you need to say increase the decay, say 0 0.92. And now you have even a longer trail going on. But that would be too intense. Like I usually do two copies and like the, the other one, like, the last one we've added is kind of too much, to be honest. But yeah, uh, just for the demonstration purposes, you can do that. You're not limited. Um, and yeah, so that's about it. And you can do this effect with anything, with shapes, with even with like videos and objects. But you would, of course, need to like mask the map properly, which, uh, well, Roto Brush comes in really handy in that case. But of course, we're not going to get into that in this tutorial. And if you're interested in that, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a like. And also, please consider subscribing to my channel because um, that would help me out a lot and give me more motivation to post videos like this for you. So enough talking. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.